Welcome. It's going to be a great day. This is our first look at ArtRage 5 Beta. Since this is a beta, there will be bugs. Let's look at this new interface. I'm in classic mode right now. Let's look at the lights out feature. It's a dark interface which seems to be all the rage right now. Lights on, lights out. Now let's take a look at docking mode. This is the biggest change as it got rid of the workbench which I really liked. We have these drop down menus that appear from the menu bar. Colors, samples, tool picker. I'm going to have to get used to this new set of icons. I think they should match the colorful icons in the lower left pod. And you can change the tool size by dragging right to make it larger and dragging left to make it smaller. And here are the settings for your tools. And this is the transform tool. I've moved the canvas around and now you have to approve your change or discard it by clicking the X or check mark. So it's not automatic anymore. Now let me distort this layer with my signature. And this looks like a bug because it's not drawing the screen correctly. Okay, this is buggy because it's beta and we'll be fixing the final release to the public. Let's start over. Layers. Let me choose Happy New Year and let's see if I get the same results. Okay, I can move it around, but now I'm not getting the dialog box which should appear after I finish my movement. So, in my eagerness to show you before it's in public release, we have to deal with the bugs right now. Let me click Transform again. Okay, I have the Transform panel. It's resizing. Now let me try to distort it. So distort does not work. So I might as well leave this alone for now and stop messing around. Now let's go to the layout panel. Here's the grid. Here are the guides. And these symbols are in the upper left hand corner where you can pull down a horizontal guide, a vertical guide, and both at the same time. Even though I've deselected show guides, the icons still appear in the upper left corner so you can still have access to them. Now to perspective. You can't turn that on without turning off the previous guide. I'm going to give the perspective guide its own tutorial, so just take a quick peek and we'll come back to this. Here's undo. Redo. Layers we've seen. Reference panel, trace, and here are the stencils. Also new is that you can open multiple documents at the same time. Here's another document. I'm going to close that. Now let me show you the new docking function. I click on the detach icon and I can move this panel. You can see these arrows appear on either side, which, me, which leads me to believe I can just drag it to the right or left and dock it. But I have been deceived. I have to put it over the arrow. So let's do this again. And I will show you no matter how much you try to dock, it only works when you put the cursor over the docking arrow. Let me detach the layout tab. And this is very easy to add to docking once it's established. You can collapse each tab 
but unfortunately the width of the docking remains the same. You can't get rid of it and it's taking up vital screen real estate. When I detach a panel from the menu bar, the icon disappears from the menu bar. When I close the panel, the icon reappears in the menu bar. Let me dock the layout panel again and show you that when you hit the tab button on your keyboard, you can clear the screen. Then we go back into classic mode and press tab. The interface minimizes, but the panels I'm using remain open. If I close them, then they become the pause again. And I press tab, and that leaves me with a clear workspace. Now let's go back to docking mode and populate the toolbox. I've done a toolbox tutorial in a previous video, so I encourage you to check that out, because the functionality is still the same. I'm going to add a layer, and then a color sample. That's enough for now. So let me save this so I can have access to it later. Hmm, where's my save dialog? Oh, it was on my laptop screen because I'm using a dual monitor setup. And I'm going to open up a new file. As you can see, I now have an empty toolbox. I simply have to load the toolbox. First load the toolbox I just created. And now to load the toolbox I've previously created before this tutorial. Use a brush and color from that toolbox. And now to use the color from my snowman file, which is my holiday card this year. I can switch back and forth between the two files and the toolbox will remain as is. Now let's go to the right side of the menu bar. Here we have the canvas positioner. So this has the same functionality. Move the canvas around. Enlarge and reduce the canvas. Change zoom level percentage. Hide art rage, which I'm not going to do now. And you can toggle windows as full screen or not. The layers panel is larger for easier viewing. You can switch between small and large layer thumbnails in the Layers panel. The Presets menu is completely redesigned for easier browsing. You can now work with multiple art rage paintings at once. Switch between them easily as you work using the keyboard shortcut Control and Tab or use the drop down menu as I've been doing. That concludes our first look at the ArtVage Beta 5 version. There will be more coming soon. That's all for today. Please like, share, and comment. I definitely like to hear from you. And please subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. Remember, 
just create back 